So when you look at Betfair trading software, you could feel that it all looks a bit familiar. However, with BetAngel, there's a whole range of features that sit below this top level. And there's one in particular that is an amazing piece of software in its own right. It could be a completely different piece of software um, and be sold separately from all of the features that you see within BetAngel. It's that different. And in order to explore that particular feature, all that you need to do is on your BetAngel screen, move your mouse, go up to where you see this green G icon and you will enter the world of BetAngel Guardian. It's completely different from what you'd expect from most traditional Betfair trading software. And in this video, we're gonna have a look at some of its key features. So when you first use Guardian, um, this will be completely blank and you have to add markets to it. And there are a number of ways of doing that. So this section over here allows you to basically add markets into Guardian. And you can do that either through filters, which I'll explain in a second. You can search for an individual market. You can use a coupon. You can use uh, racing specific stuff, or you can look for individual football matches. If you actually try and find a market on Betfair, you will see a menu, a market tree, basically, uh, in this way. And it takes a lot of clicks to basically get to the level at which you want. On this particular day, there are about 10,000 markets that you could look for. So in order to shortcut that process, what we've actually done is introduced filters. So when you select a filter, you can actually bring up individual sports. So it's very, very easy to bring up markets that you could be interested in. And you can actually pre-program Guardian to basically find these markets for you. All you need to do is click on this filter button that will bring up a list. And then you can actually search by individual sport, by country. You can filter markets by text, by volume. Uh, whether they're in play or not, you can do pretty much anything, but it's a really quick and easy way of populating Guardian because as soon as you found the markets that you're most interested in, then you can basically right click, select all markets and drag and drop them into Guardian. It is that simple. So Bet Angel Guardian is so extensive um, that we've recorded individual videos on each of these features. Um, so explore those videos if you want to learn about each of those individual features. If I had to do them in sequence here, it would take me a fair amount of time. So I'm just going to go over the top of each of these features to give you an understanding of exactly what Guardian does. The main interface that you see here lists all of the markets that you've imported into Guardian. Um, you can actually modify the screen to suit, which I'll show you in a second. But basically, this is listing all of the markets that we have in Guardian. All of the markets that you load in here, Guardian will work and operate on in the background. So you can close Guardian down, trade on your main interface, and it doesn't matter. It, a Guardian will continue to work in the background for you. If you want to act on one of these markets quickly and you see something that's interesting, then if you right click, you can actually get Guardian to display it on the one click or the ladder screen, or you can display an entirely new interface if you so wish. So just right click on any of these markets to perform any of these functions. We also have a thing in here called a quick bet, which basically is sort of like you found an opportunity, you want to do something about it, bring up the quick bet ticket and away you go. But you've also got other things in here related to automation, watch lists, alerts, and you can also export the contents of the entire market lists if you wish to do so. Like I've said before, Guardian works in the background, so you can have it running while you're doing something else on BetAngel. But basically, um, it, it cycles through each of these markets, so it will actually go through all of these markets. You can see it updating at the moment uh, to check on what actions you've specified in each of these markets. You can completely control that by opting for the refresh frequency that you see here. Um, and you can obviously add and remove markets from there that are no longer required. But you can also restrict the refresh so that it only focuses on markets that are due in the next hour or so on. It's entirely up to you how you wish to manage these particular markets. And if, for example, you're doing horse racing, you can get BetAngel to switch automatically during the day into the main interface. Or like I said before, you can basically jump straight to a market that is of interest to you. But basically, you load the markets into Guardian. It will manage and monitor those markets for you and report back. It will log all of the information and stuff that it's doing, um, but basically put all of the markets that you're interested in into Guardian and then get it to cycle through them in the way that I've just explained here. So one of the ways in which you can find markets, one of the first sort of magical features of 
Bet Angel Guardian is the coupon feature. You can find that on this menu over here at the left and at the bottom. And basically, if you use a coupon, it does something quite clever. So let's use a coupon. If I go down to the drop down menu here, you can see that it's a filter. It's looking for certain types of markets. So I'm going to select uh, football markets with over £50,000 matched at this particular moment in time. You can see here it says 50K volume multi-column. So what does that mean? Well, on the bottom left here, there are a number of options. I'm not going to explain them in great depth, but basically if you click add and apply on this particular coupon, what it actually does is it displays um, all of the information that you can see in these matches, but it layers it so that you have the primary markets and all of the secondary markets. And you can also see here that it's synchronizing with the primary panel. So basically, as we move around this particular panel on here, um, then it will display information uh, in all of the uh, secondary markets on here as well. And probably the best way to explain this is if I actually use the drop down menu, you'll see that it's pre-populated all of the markets that it's found. So if I switch to Southampton v Brentford, then basically it displays all of the information across these individual markets in here. Um, and we can look at Nigeria v Egypt, which has just gone in play. And you can see that basically what the coupon is doing is it's displaying primary and secondary markets right next to each other. And you can pin and drag this to another screen. You can do whatever you want. But it's a much, much quicker way of seeing all of the critical information that you need in each individual market. And you can do this in any sport. So I've used football here simply because there's lots to display. But you'll see that we can also do things like display the win in place market um, on horse racing. The coupon allows you to look at a whole range of interrelated markets and act on them very quickly. So now that we have explored coupons, we should also explore watch lists. So you can see I've clicked on the watch uh, function up here. And if I just mark all of these football markets here and then I say add selected markets to watch list and then display that watch list you can see that I've added in all of the markets here from this particular football match. Um, so you, you can put this somewhere on a screen or on a separate screen and as the name suggests you can keep an eye you can watch these particular markets while you're active on another market whether that's in Guardian or whether it is on your main trading interface but also you've got multiple watch lists here so if you want to you can actually select a second watch list add the markets that we've just marked here to that watch list and then display that as well so you can actually put all of these markets um, independently together however you wish to display all of the information so that you can keep an eye on multiple sports at the same time and you've got options here so you can determine what happens when you actually click on something within the watch list but you can also have options in terms of how you display information how they're sorted um, and, and all of that information as well I'll leave you to explore all of that but basically the concept behind a watch list is if you want to keep an eye on a market or a set of markets you can actually do that really easily by adding it to a watch list and keeping that running in the background where you can keep an eye on it in Guardian as well, we have an Excel link. So that if you're into your spreadsheets, you can pump data into a spreadsheet. And you can do that on the main trading interface, but it's subtly different when you use it within Guardian. And one of the reasons for that is that it allows you to put multiple markets into one workbook. Uh, so let me explain how you do that. You basically find the template, you open that particular workbook, you connect it. You can see here it says status connected. You've got options here to auto bind spreadsheets if you want to work through markets over the course of the day. And then you can actually nominate which uh, sheet you actually want a market to be displayed on. So we could have a horse race on one, but we could also have a football market um, on another if we so wish to do so. And by selecting the individual sheet that we wish to display information on, you can do all sorts of wonderful and clever things. So if you wanted to do some deeper analysis on football, there's no reason why you couldn't link up multiple markets and so on. But let's have a quick look at how that looks on the actual spreadsheet itself. So you can see I'm actually in the spreadsheet now and the first sheet is displaying the 10 to 5 at Wolverhampton, at Wolverhampton, at Southwell. Then you can see we've got the match odds for Calorie and Bologna on the second sheet. And then we have the over and under market in the third. Guardian will pump all of this information away for you into these spreadsheets. 
And like I've said before, you can actually close down Guardian and it will still continue to do that. So you can put your spreadsheet on one screen, your main trading interface on another, Guardian or other information elsewhere, and it will all do this for you in the background. But using the Excel link within Guardian allows you to connect multiple markets into one spreadsheet. So of course, the major feature within BetEng Guardian is the automation. You can basically get the automation, as the name suggests, to completely automate your trading. It's a very deep um, tool with a significant number of options, which are beyond the scope of this video. But basically, if you want to get into automation, we've actually got a whole range of example files that you can download and import uh, into Guardian. So whatever you want to do, however you want to do it, there's loads of uh, different bits of automation that you can use, um, or you can create your own. But if I edit this rules file, it will bring up a dialog box here, and you can basically use BetAngel to place bets into the market. Um, you can uh, tag a whole list of conditions and parameters to all of these functions. Uh, you can do all sorts of amazing and clever things with this. And the interesting thing about the automation is this will run completely autonomously. You can set it up within Guardian. It will do all of that in the background, even if you've got a spreadsheet attached and other ladder windows and other things, it will just do all of that in the background while you get on with whatever you're doing. But also you can apply up to five automation rules within a market, and you can also apply multiple automa automation nominated selections. What do we mean by that? Well, basically if we look, for example, at a horse race and we want to run a particular piece of automation, we can add that into each of these rules files, and we can actually add multiple bits of automation doing different things in the same market. It's very easy to do. You basically go into here and then you basically click on it and Guardian is automatically applying that automation for you. And the nominations allow you to nominate a specific runner. If you want to do something very, very specific in an individual market, you can actually say, I only want you to look at the draw, for example, and so on. And of course you can do multiple uh, individual market uh, strategies across the same market just by selecting it from the drop down menu of items you've either created yourself or have imported from the forum. It's an incredibly powerful piece of the software and something you should definitely explore. Another feature that is within Guardian that you may not be aware of is the ability to alert. And you can see here via the automation, you can see here it says play sound alert show message. But you can actually display alerts within the watch list, but you can also display them within Guardian itself. You've actually got alert columns if you wish to do that. But you basically tell BetAngel exactly what you're looking for, and BetAngel will scan hundreds of markets for you and alert you immediately it finds that opportunity. So yeah, it's a great way of getting BetAngel to do some of the work for you and alert you to opportunities that you may not be aware of. So last but not least is the ability uh, to modify the layout within BetAngel. So if you go to the list function at the far right hand side of Guardian, you will be presented with a menu and this will allow you to modify every single element of what you can see in front of you, which is really helpful for displaying key information for you in markets that will be of interest. So if you can see this is the standard layout that we have at the moment, you can go onto the forum and import a load of example layouts. But if I go to the custom columns, which will be all these columns here, and select racing info, and then select the drop down menu here, racing info layout, it will change the layout that you see here to be more specific to the sport that we're interested in. So you can see here that on this particular example, it is giving us the form of the first of the favorite, the second favorite and the third favorite, the last traded prices, their high and low information. And you can display pretty much anything that you wish uh, within Guardian. It's entirely up to you what you want to display, how you get that information, um, how you push it into BetAngel, what color even you want it to be displayed at. But this will radically simplify what you're attempting to do, uh, markets that you're looking for, opportunities that you're trying to find, you can get that displayed for you immediately in front of you uh, by using the list function on Guardian. And it's the same within the whole of BetAngel. You can modify pretty much everything that you see. And also like everything else within BetAngel, we've got loads of examples for you in the forum. So while Guardian is just a icon, when you look at the main trading interface on BetAngel, 
Underneath that icon is a whole world of opportunity. It does such an incredible array of things that it really should be part of your trading activity. The great thing about it as well is that it runs in the background so you can actually close it down and all of that will take place while you focus on the main market that you're actively trading. But also you can run the linking to Excel, the alerts, the watch lists, the automation, all simultaneously. They will all work together at exactly the same time. And even better than that, if you're not familiar with these features, they all work in practice mode. So if you've never used it before, you can click on that green button. You can fire up Guardian, start to experiment with some of these features and learn exactly what this feature does because it's one of the most powerful features within BetAngel.